if statements are a foundational building block for your Excel knowledge. In this video, we'll discuss how to use them effectively. We're going to walk through a number of if statements on our employee roster. Our first is an if statement to understand if their employee received an A rating. So equals if cell E4 equals A, I want it to say yes. If not, I want it to say no. So if I fill that down, we can see all of the cells with A returned yes, where all of the cells with B or C returned no. I can do that for any specific logical test I want. So if I want to see if the category is equal to enterprise accounts, I can type that in, I can fill it down, and it'll just show me the cells with enterprise accounts. I can do this for numeric values. If instead I want to look on G4 is greater than 300,000, I can do that. It will say yes for just the cells that are over 300,000. or I could also reference an external cell and I could say equal to a specific target. And that would give me the same exact thing as typing in the number directly. You can use if statements on dates. If you want to go to your higher date and say after date 2020, 1231, you can see only the employees that were hired after December 31st, 2020. You can also use and or or operators. If I say and and you say the rating has to be equal to A and I want the category to be equal to enterprise accounts. I will close my and formula and now I can fill that down. And the only row that is highlighted or is a yes is the cell with A and enterprise accounts. My other A's don't get highlighted because they're serving small business. And my other enterprise accounts aren't highlighted because they didn't receive an A. If I were to change this to an OR operator, now what Excel will do is it will show me either if you received an A or you served enterprise accounts. So you can see we have A's that serve small business and we have B's that serve enterprise accounts. But our non-highlighted cells, or the cells that return no, were the one that didn't fulfill either criteria. So they received a B or a C and they serve small business. And I can add as many logical tests as I want. So if I wanted to change this to also say if your sales total is above our target. I can do that. And now even the B's and C's that serve small businesses could be a yes, as long as they're above this target. And I can change this back to an and. And now none of my cells are highlighted because even my A that serves enterprise accounts has a value below 300,000. You can also nest if statements. If I say equals rating is equal to A, I want it to say excellent. If not, I wanted to do another if statement. So if rating is equal to B, I wanted to say average. And then if not, I wanted to say poor. I can fill that down. And now you see for all my A's, it says excellent. For my B's, it says average. And then my C's, it says poor. Because if you go to the evaluate formula tool, what you can see is the first if statement says if E8, if C is equal to A, that is false. So then it goes and does the second logical test. If E8 is equal to B, which is also false and returns poor. So nested if statements allow you to have multiple values if yes to return based on your criteria. Mm -hmm.